every single one of the most recent exclusive enchants in Pet Simulator 99 absolutely suck and today i'm gonna go over why each of them are so bad and not gonna be worth your time and we're gonna go from the best of these four all the way down to the worst just so you guys can have a better idea of how each of these perform i've personally tested each of these four enchants and i was personally super disappointed with these enchants and honestly mostly just surprised by how bad they actually were now i actually don't know who's behind the scenes that comes up with these ideas for exclusive enchants but big games definitely missed the mark in a huge way when they added these to the game and after seeing these results it really makes you wonder why they were even added in the first place and if you do want to test these exclusive enchants for yourself stick around till the end of the video because i'm going to tell you how you can win each of these for absolutely free not really that you would want to win these but if you do want to sell them you can go ahead and do that now let's quit the trash talking and actually head over to the final area so i can actually demonstrate why each of these are so bad in their own way but as i'm heading over to the final area it really got me thinking that big games really hasn't made a good exclusive enchant in quite a while honestly i'd probably say the best exclusive enchant that we've had in a minute is going to be the super magnet enchant but that's not even like a creative enchant in the first place so it's kind of sad that that is the best exclusive enchant that we've had in a while. But besides that, it seems like we're actually on a huge streak of just bad exclusive enchants being added to the game, which honestly is a bad thing for big games because obviously less people are going to buy the enchants if they're not that good. So I don't see why they don't put more effort into coming up with good enchants as they would directly benefit from making them better for people. Like the last actually like really, really good enchant they added to the game was the boss chest mimic and as you guys know they kept that in the exclusive shop for a very long time i think it was like three updates or something which actually might be the longest an enchant has stayed in the exclusive shop for that's probably the last one people actually bought a ton of because it actually was super good but now we're here in the final area so let's go over the first of these bad enchants now the first one is going to be the nightmare orb you don't really need to read the description of this one to really understand what it does basically another one of the orb enchants so we now have i believe three of these in the game all it's gonna do is spawn a little companion that follows you around and it's just gonna shoot at breakables now granted this orb enchant is actually pretty cool i actually really like the explosion that it does keep in mind though that the explosion that this orb does is not an actual explosion it doesn't damage any breakables around it like as you can see when these things are getting hit they're not hitting any other breakables around it. It's just a cosmetic explosion, which is quite unfortunate. I think if the explosion actually did stuff to the breakables around the other breakable, it would actually be kind of good. And another thing to mention with this enchant is that the closer you are to the breakable, it actually shoots a lot faster. And I'm guessing this is because the orb doesn't shoot another projectile until its projectile has hit the other breakable that it shot at. So if you are super close to a breakable, it's gonna wrap rapid fire and actually destroy things pretty quickly the only issue is that obviously we don't have any need for something like this in the game so that's why it's pretty unfortunate that it is still just a bad enchant overall so honestly it's pretty hard to get mad at this enchant because it does exactly what it said it's gonna do and it's got a cool little animation for the explosions at least now let's actually load up five of these enchants just so we could see what it would look like if we did use five at a time this thing is actually just destroying this area pretty good for having absolutely no pets now if this enchant does become cheaper i could actually see some players using this in the early game especially if they do not have a strong team because this thing actually does quite a bit of damage to the final area for not using any pets now if we do equip our pet team on this account I don't know if you could really even tell a difference. I think this enchant actually does absolutely nothing if you have a decent team because your pets are going to be breaking the breakables before your little orbs even have a chance to shoot at them. But I guess if you are just starting out the game and your pets aren't doing a lot of damage to these breakables, then the orbs could help you out a lot. But I'm not entirely sure that any of the orb chants actually have a place in this game. And I know this enchant actually isn't on this list that I was going over, but if we do equip this lightning orb enchant i actually think this one might be slightly better 
just because of the good AOE that the orbs do sometimes. Like as you can see, this thing actually like clears out the area when the lightning actually strikes. Now I don't have enough of these to equip five at a time on this account, but if this thing was going off constantly, then I think it could actually clear this area decently well. Overall though, we just don't really have any need for this enchant, so I don't know why Big Games keeps making new orb enchants. And for that reason, I'm just gonna say the nightmare orb is just an okay enchant. At least it does what it says it's gonna do, unlike the second enchant on the this list which is the mini chest fortune so if we look at the mini chest fortune in the description it says that the mini chests drop two times better items it's important to note that this does not say two times more items so you're not going to get more items necessarily from mini chests but it does say that the items you get are supposed to be two times better now i use this mini chest fortune on an account that uses the chest mimic book as well as the chest spell and it's constantly using both of those so i'm getting a lot of mini chests over time and honestly when i woke up in the morning and looked at my items i could not tell a difference from the day before and my other account that wasn't using the mini chest fortune but also had a chest mimic book but no chest spell ultimate seemed to actually have very similar results to that other account so honestly i'm not sure what's going on with this mini chest fortune now i've asked a lot of people in my discord and friends that play the game and they've all said that that they have not seen pretty much any results the only thing i have had people tell me is that it seems like they do get more cocktails overnight when using the mini chest fortune now one theory that we do have in the community about what this enchant actually does we think this is mainly just affecting the lower tier items that you get so what we're thinking is that the two times better items from the mini chest fortune is essentially just making the super low tier items that we get basically just like one or maybe even two tiers higher than usual so for example if we were supposed to just get a treasure hunter potion two maybe if you're using the midi chest fortune that's going to give you a tier three potion instead and if you look at the values of these these are actually very similar and the tier three potions actually cheaper than the tier two and for that reason it would explain why we're not getting any more wrap for the amount of items that we're getting overnight when using the mini chest fortune as well as that the wrap value on cocktails has gone on down quite a bit so even if the mini chest fortune does give you a few more cocktails per night it's not going to be a very huge effect at all but some of the very important stuff that you do get from drops like charm stones gift bags even key parts seem to not really be affected by this mini chest fortune now let me know in the comment section if you want me to actually do a deep dive on the mini chest fortune and look at each of the items that i get when grinding with it overnight versus not grinding with it overnight i've been sent quite a few tests of people doing this themselves and they saw no difference in the wrap value of the items that they got from grinding with it versus without it but overall though the midi chest fortune is essentially just a very useless enchant at the moment and you can definitely see this in the wrap value of it because it's only sitting at 41 million diamonds which is absolutely nothing to something like the boss chest mimic i do think there are some people that still do use it just because they've already invested so much in a chest mimic enchant and they just feel like even if it does help out a little bit then it might be worth it for them honestly to me though it seems like something in the code for this enchant is broken because i don't see why big games would put in an enchant that pretty much does nothing big games has every incentive to make these enchants good so i don't know why they wouldn't just make it absolutely crazy so a bunch of people go ahead and buy it and they make a ton of robux but what do i know because this next enchant is even worse than the mini chest fortune and that's going to be the corruption enchant and let's actually read the description for this enchant because it says there is a chance to apply corruption to breakables and increase the amount of damage that you do now i don't know who is in the kitchen cooking for big games when they come up with the ideas for these enchants but just off the rip this just doesn't sound good at all now i'm gonna actually use this enchant and i'll sit in here with my full team of huges going at it and i'll let you try to actually see this corruption enchant in action and something i probably should mention is that this enchant as well as the nightmare orb are both found in only the backrooms pack so they actually are exclusive enchants but you can't just buy them outright from the exclusive shop you actually got to go through the backrooms pack and actually i guess get lucky and find them in there but but i could probably let this footage go for another hour and you would not be able to tell what this corruption enchant does now i'll put away my pets and just keep out one of my huges 
and let this enchant go just so we could hopefully see one of these things become corrupted but basically what the corruption enchant does it's basically like the midas touch and it has a chance that when it hits a breakable it turns it into a corrupted breakable which i guess is supposed to increase the amount of damage that your pet can do to that breakable now the problem with this is that it actually just doesn't work but i actually have footage of this enchant absolutely not working at all which you can clearly see because it actually turns the breakable black when it cr oh see like that just like the midas touch but instead of gold it just turns it black which basically just lets you know that that breakable is corrupted but the amount of damage that it actually does to that breakable after it's corrupted is absolutely the same as if it did not get corrupted but i don't know what's up with big games and adding these random enchants that essentially do nothing and add absolutely nothing for the game now to be fair i probably should have had the corruption enchant last on this list because the shiny supercharge enchant actually does something compared to this one but the shiny supercharge really just makes you scratch your head and ask why it was put in the game so let's put away our hell rock for this one and let's equip this shiny supercharge enchant now honestly this should have been a tier list of which one of these are the dumbest because it really seems like big games is just competing with themselves to come up with the dumbest idea for an exclusive enchant because this one says it increases the strength of your shiny pets by 100%. Now, when you read that description, you should immediately think to yourself that this kind of sounds familiar to something we already have in the game. Now, that line of thinking would be really smart because we actually have something identical to this but it applies to all of your pets and it actually does more damage. If we compare this to the Strong Pets 9 book, which is the strongest strong pets that we have currently in the game, it says it increases the strength of all your pets by 135%. All right, you guys, so let's do some critical thinking here. Should we pay 1200 Robux just so these shiny pets from our team, not, not the rainbows, not the regulars, not the goldens, just the shiny pets. Should we pay 1200 Robux just so those shiny pets can have an increased strength of 100%? Or should we pay 500K and have all of our pets do 135% increased strength? Now, when this enchant first came to the game, I thought that big games just didn't really word the description right, and it actually did more than what it said. But I was horribly, horribly wrong because this actually does exactly what it says and exactly how I described it. And I can show you guys really quickly with a test. So let's just only equip the shiny supercharged book and let's pull out one of our shiny pets. Now, I don't have any shiny huters on this account, but we'll pull out something like the shiny thunder bear, and then we will spawn in a lucky block event. So if we look at the damage with the shiny supercharge, you can see we do 6.6Q damage. Now, if we go ahead and remove the shiny supercharge book and then put the strong pets nine book, you'll see that we actually do 6.62Q damage. So, so definitely an increase. Essentially, the strong pets book is better than the shiny super supercharged book even if you do have shiny pets now shout out to big games because at least the shiny supercharged actually increases your damage unlike the corruption book but not only this time did they add an absolutely useless enchant to the game they added a useless enchant that is actually outshined by something that is just a normal drop in the game, which is the Strong Pets book. And the funny thing about this is that the Strong Pets book actually isn't even our best damage book. It's not even good at all. Nobody even uses the Strong Pets. The Criticals book actually outshines Strong Pets by a mile. So it's actually kind of funny that this idea checked all the boxes for big games and they thought this was a perfect thing to add to the game. And not only that, added to the game for 1200 Robux. Again, this just this really makes me question what big games is doing because if they're trying to sell exclusive enchants why would they make one that is so horrible now i absolutely yapped way too long about these absolutely useless enchants so i'll probably just end the video here but if you do actually want to win these and try them for yourselves and see if i'm just crazy all you have to do is like the video subscribe to the channel and then comment your roblox username down in the description just make sure it's your roblox username and not just the display name that you use and 24 hours from when this video was uploaded i will send these enchants out to you guys to try for yourselves we're also doing daily huge giveaways on my discord right now so make sure you're joined up for that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out